Hello everyone and welcome to my video discussing the trait changes in the upcoming patch. Uh, I think it's 3.1.0 with the new two dungeons coming out. Um, and basically there's some big changes especially to the sharpened trait that may change the meta for attack. Now I'm going in completely blind here. I don't know what's going to be the best. Um, we're going to be testing infused, sharp, precise and learn to try work out from a PvP perspective more than anything else. Which is going to be more viable. I think PvE wise is probably going to be fairly obvious. I think the Precise is going to win. But we'll test it anyway and try work it out. Um, but yeah, I mean this is very, very largely based on the um, testing of the damage in a PvP environment. By the way, are your traits, they're not, all, they're not different numbers at Impen, are they? That's going to be something important here. Uh, they are all Impen. Okay, all well, good then. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing uh, just one skill that's just going to be Wrecking Blow in a generic stamina setup. So some stamina pieces, some weapon damage. It's just what I've got access to, a bit more stamina. Basically a fairly high damaging setup on an all impen target to compare the damage uh, for light, light shielded, medium and heavy targets to compare the amount of damage that I'm actually doing against that target with the skill with the different traits so we're going to start first of all with sharpened and we are against a heavy target so without blocking without any buffs um you want to do it on that bar okay and i'm going to hit him now so we hit a 2998 uncrit um precise by the way a quick discussion here precise increases your crit chance it doesn't increase your crit damage so just disclaimer the crit is not what i'm after i'm after the uncrit damage to compare so 2998 is our damage for a heavy, sharp hit. Um, what's Light Shielded? So Light Shielded is basically a target using Harness because obviously against them I can't crit. I wouldn't necessarily have to test that. It's just because I know I can't crit on there. So that's the first one. I'm going to have to move out of combat each time. So sorry if this takes a while to test. But in the end the numbers should be worth it. I'll probably upload like a uh, picture of all the data that I get afterwards. Again, I'm going in completely blind here. Just that way you guys can see it a little clearer. So that was 2998. Now we're going to test with Nernhoned. This is probably going to be the closest comparison. Um, obviously Sharpen used to give you about 5.2k pen. It only gives you 2.7 now. So this is why other skills might be more viable. So same again. 2998 it was before. 2985 crit. So I need an uncrit. We're just going to go again. I don't have any CP in by the way guys. I'm fully unbuffed. Apart from Rally and no CP. Obviously I keep critting. Come on game. No crits. <laughs> God damn it! Don't crit! Okay, 2985 with the Nern. Interesting. So, Nern actually doing less, even against a heavy target, than the Sharp. I did expect this to be close. Um, I actually thought the Nern was going to be better. So, yeah, in this case, Sharp is always going to be better than Nern against a heavy target. Now remember, against light targets, this might change. Medium targets, it might change. We'll be testing it on all of them. So next is going to be precise. This is essentially going to be hitting untraited. But we need to factor in the fact that we're more likely to crit. And we can work out the exact difference between a crit and an uncrit. Work out the percentage chance of doing that to work out the overall impact of that damage. So next is going to be precise. Precise is hitting 2-6. 1-4 uncrit. However, we're going to factor in the fact here that with precise, we are more likely to obviously crit by a factor of 9%. So what we do for that is our crit, and this is obviously on a full impen target, keep that in mind. God damn it, obviously I don't crit now that I need to. Wait, why did I just do 2838? Was I not buffed? Okay, I wasn't buffed for. Sorry, that should be 2838 for precise then. So I wasn't buffed. So it's 2838 for precise. I need a crit now. A crit is going to be the same. That's because it's fully impend. Um, it's obviously going to factor in. But do keep in mind, even though that's 2838, you are going to crit 9% more of the time. So I'm just going to keep that as a side note here that you're going to crit more likely. Um, when you include that in the factor, against a heavy target, you're going to hit about 160 less on your base damage. But you are 10% nearly more likely to crit, which is going to be another 50% damage. That's going to be pretty notable in an actual fight. So um, I, I will try work out the raw maths that 
towards the end. I just want to get the base stuff sorted first. So next and final trait is going to be infused. So with infused, I'm actually going to be comparing the glyph damage that we're outputting. And I think this is just going to be the raw stat. If it is, we can instantly compare this. Uh, obviously, obviously, all the other ones say 1861. We're just going to see what we do with this. If this does hit 2420, you can factor in the amount of damage per second extra that is. Obviously, the glyph can proc with an infused weapon. 50% uh, less, it's going to proc every three seconds that glyph. That is pretty good. So we are hitting on a glyph 2305. So it's a little bit less than tooltip, but very, very little. So essentially, you can take that factor in. So you're going to be getting 500 more damage here, uh, give or take, every three seconds. That's going to factor out to about 160 extra damage. Now, our base damage with the weapon is... Obviously, I crit. It should be 2838, actually. So this is going to be 2838 plus... There's also going to be 500 extra damage included in the fact that you are going... Sorry, 160 extra damage per second... Um, and the reason that 160 extra per second is there is the glyph cooldown is going to go from 6 seconds to 3 seconds. But at the same time as doing that, it also gets amplified by about 500. Um, so that's against heavy. So if you could swap to medium now. Um, we're going to do exactly the same now against medium. The glyph enchant at this point is not going to change. So we can take the exact data we get from precise for the no trait, essentially, that increases base damage. And just include the fact that the glyph is extra to work out the scaling of the difference here. So let's try starting off with the sharpened against a medium armor target. Same amount of impen, same fancies there, um, and see what the base damage is with the medium armor. So, so far winning is sharpened, though again, precise and infused are both looking competitive. And actually I think infused is my favorite for any class using a weapon skill. Um, it's procking often, it's procking hard. So I think the infuse is pretty solid. Um, I don't know. Precise could also be really good. Obviously, precise, you're getting that extra crit chance, and you do have to factor in the damage. But again, in a PvP environment, that's going to be heavily influenced by impen, which is why I'm not too hot on precise myself at the moment. Um, if you were to shadow Mundus, maybe. Remember, I don't even have a Mundus on right now. It's a very, very basic setup. So anyway, medium armor target. This is with sharpen, and we do hit. Of course, I crit. I need an uncrit. God damn it, game. 3188. So 3188 is with medium. We'll write that one down like so. Uh, now we're going to change my weapon trait. By the way, the reason I keep moving out is you can't change your weapon in the middle of a fight. So I have to change my fight every single time. Um, the change to infuse, for those people in my stream asking, I guess YouTube might be interested as well. The change to infuse, they've made it so it, the cooldown is a lot lower and it procs more often. Now, keep in mind, I'm not testing decisive or powered in this. Both of those traits could very well be viable as a back bar weapon. I would say both of them are pretty interesting and they're both going to be, yeah, they're both going to be pretty useful sets. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, this is now going to be with Nern Honed, and then we're going to test the untraded essentially on him and see what we can do there. So, we're going to buff, we're going to Wrecking Blow, and our Wrecking Blow hits. I couldn't even see that. What was that? Did you see it? I do 185. 3185, okay. Uh, so, Nern is only very marginally behind at this point. They're now doing 3815. That's just three less than sharpened. Now we're going to go for precise and infused. i got to say, right now my, I'm really heavily favoring precise or infused. The damage difference is not that huge now. Um, again, keep in mind though, you're going to have to scale this percentage wise. So, although your glyph is going to be procking more often and your crit chance is going to be more often, actually less so with the crit chance. Let's take the glyph here. Although the glyph is going to proc less often, Keep in mind that I'm not running a good build by any means right now. I have no CP or anything like that against the full CP target. So actually the damage I'm doing is a lot lower than I would normally do. Um, what that means is that that damage difference between precise or essentially untraded for the base damage increase and sharpen or nerd is actually going to be a lot wider because the percentage is going to stay the same. So for example, if I was to hit 1k and 950, that would be 10k and 9,500. So the gap suddenly 500. is getting more and more notable against the glyph. So keep in mind that is going to influence the overall stats here. Uh, okay, so this is now precise, which will be the same data for infused since the glyph is unaffected, which is why we chose oblivion. 
Are you on the same bar every time here? I'm sure you're... Every time. Okay. So we have 3028 untreated. Uh, 3028. And that's going to be the same for precise. And it's going to be the same for infused here. So identical data. I'm just going to put an X in for all of these traits at this point for infused. Since they're going to be absolutely the same as precise. So... It's going to be all the same percentage, I think. Um, but this one in light now, if you can, is going to be the biggest difference between Nern, Hone, and Sharp. And this is where I think Nern is likely to take the lead, but we'll see. Light armor now, right? Yeah, please. Well. Of course. So my base damage is a lot lower, guys. Keep that in mind. I don't have CP. He's full CP. I'm just keeping a really generic, easy to cast, easy to visualize skill. With low damage to keep the numbers simple. We could go huge damage, but it's not really going to test anything that we can't test in lower damage. This just makes the numbers easier. Um, so, something else worth mentioning here off topic is people are mentioning about one-handed. So, one-handed weapons, if you to go dueled, will actually factor differently. So, you actually get half of the tool tip. If I was to go with one-handed swords, I would get a sharpen. And sharpen would give me the same as one sharpen, two anna. So... At that point, you've also got the consideration, is it worth going for a sharpened and a nern maybe, or a sharpened and an infused, or a sharpened and a precise. Um, so yeah, that's also worth factoring in here, and that's something I'm not going to go over, but is worth mentioning. So, next trait is going to be sharpened against light armor. Uh, you're not buffed, are you? Nope. Okay, great. So, sharpened against light armor is going to hit. 3294. So 3294. We'll bang that in. Obviously, again, you're going to see that damage increase every single time, as you should. Um, and now we're going to go with Nern. And test the same. And then precise and test the same and see how things change here. So. Here is it with Nern. Three, two, nine, four. Our previous hit was sharp. Nern is now going to hit. You see the number? I'll do it again. Three, two, nine, six. Three, two, nine, six. So Nern fractionally better. In terms of percentage, it looks like the difference between Nern and sharp is minute absolutely minimal i'll try work out which is actually better um and again keep in mind that nernone is going to scale with the weapon damage of the weapon so that isn't going to change based on your weapons unless you go jeweled in which case you're going to get a little bit less per nernone so that's where it might change finally we're going to go with precise and we're going to test this one um I don't really want to remove my gear. I think removing the gear means we're just hitting ridiculously low. And in the end, the scaling is going to be the same. So this is now with precise. And our damage is 3373. Is that higher? What? Yes. How is that three, higher? 3296 and this one 3373. <laughs> Why did I hit higher? My crit was 3134. I must have done something there. I must have powered it with Merciless or something. Let's do it again. Oh, fucking hell. Please don't crit. Don't crit. Oh, we got the crits. There we go. 3134. 3134, the number for precise. So we bang that in the data. So, in summary, percentage wise, Sharp and Nern are doing. Nearly identical damage. Nern is marginally better. And we're talking a fraction of a percent against light targets. Against a medium target, sharp is fractionally better. And against a heavy target, sharp is fractionally better. Um, precise in terms of percentage, I'm going to quickly work this out, is going to be doing. So we can do this on the calculator. We can go 2838 divided by... 2998 equals, and then we do that. Uh, it's going to be 5.3%. So, Precise is going to be doing roughly 5.3% less damage. 
but you are going to be gaining a base increase from the crit. So you're going to be more likely to crit by 9%, and that 9% is going to generate 50% more damage. So for the sake of testing the maths against a no crit target, I'm going to write this down on the numbers real fast. Uh, and some people might not understand what I'm doing here. So we're going to write down precise equals, and again, I'll show you this form afterwards, 5 point, let's get this exactly, Free, free, give or take, percent less. So, our base damage is going to be 2838. So, we go 2838 times 1.5, which would be the 50% increase. So, the overall damage difference is then going to be that answer minus 2838, which gives us the total of, when we crit against a heavy armor target, god damn it, I messed that up. 2838 times 1.5 equals answer minus 2838. That's going to be the base damage increase. The base damage increase, I could have just divided that by 2. I don't know why I did that. Um, it's going to be 1419 on a max resist target. Because it's going to be the lowest we're going to possibly hit. No CP against full CP. This is only going to get higher as you go up. And I think this is why the other trait is going to be interesting here. So we're going to go up by 1419 damage. 9% more often, so we can work that out. So we do that times uh, 0.09, which will give us the 9% of that factor, which will give us in total 127 more damage. So we get 127.71 more damage on average against no impen. So obviously that is going to get worse and worse steadily against an impen target, though the more you hit, the more it's going to get as well. And shadow, of course, is going to be interesting. If we then do the maths here exactly, we can do 2838, which is our base damage, plus the extra from the crit on average, because that's the amount we're going to get consistently on the long fight. We're going to get a total of 2965, which is only marginally worse than Sharp or Nern, but that crit damage is going to get increasingly better against the Sharp and the Nern traits. So... Precise is looking hot, especially if you're going to run the Shadow Mundus. I would greatly advise the Sharp Mundus. Uh, sorry, the Precise Mundus here. I think that's definitely going to win. Actually, Precise might win in other situations as well. Against no Impen, against no Shields. If they're running a damage shield, obviously you are not going to get that crit damage instantly. And against anyone that's running huge crit resist impreg that sort of stuff your crits are simply going to do less damage so keep in mind that if you're running precise against a target that's overstacked in impen your crits can actually do less damage than your base damage and what that will mean is your damage could even go down by running precise amusingly um, just keep that in mind so the final one to do the maths on here then is the infused so infused is going to do pretty much the same but more. So infused is going to do 2838 plus, we worked this out already, 160 extra weapon damage per. So we do 2838 plus 160. That's factoring in per second. And that's going to give us 2998. So actually infused mathematically is doing exactly the same as sharpen, which at this point against the heavy target would technically be our base. Now, why is that interesting? The reason that's interesting is that means that if you are running a low damage build, so you're running something tankier, infused is always going to be the better trait because infused is going to proc more reliably um, and against probably a light target, especially against any target when you're using Toro Pact, it's going to outweigh. Actually, is that true? It's not true. Or is it? I don't know. No, it isn't. It's the same. Okay, so Infused and Sharp are actually going to be the same. Um, they're going to be exactly the same damage per second. So thinking about it, what this means next patch is if you have, for example, an Infused two-handed mall, and you're running a low damage build, keep that key in your mind. It has to be a low damage build. Infused and Sharpen are identical. So if you have an Infused Maelstrom 2 under and you're going to be running a build that hits pretty low, don't panic. Infused is now a viable trait, so it's actually going to be reasonable if you are running the Oblivion Glyph. I haven't factored this in for the weapon as a spell damage glyph. That could also be an interesting test for another day. The other glyphs, I would definitely go with Sharpen over because I think they're going to be a little more reliable with that. With an Oblivion Glyph, you are going to be better off going with Infused or Sharp over the other traits. 
apart from maybe precise if they're running no imp -em. Now, if we go to a light target and we're maximizing our damage, things are going to get different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor all of the damages here up by three. So this will be comparing a damage in a high damage bill because the scaling percentage wise between those is going to be identical. So we're going to compare sharp, which we know is best against precise, which we think might be best. So we're going to do 3294 times 3, which gives us the total of 9882. And then we're going to do the same with precise, which is 3134 times 3, which is going to give us 9402. Now we're going to compare the crit, and this is going to be a very notable difference at this point. So a crit on 9402 is going to do 1.5 times. We divide that by 2 to work out the damage difference. So 9402 divided by 2 is going to give us the damage difference, which is 4701. We then do 4701 times 0 0.09, because that's the extra crit chance we get. So in total, precise is going to give us an extra damage difference of 4 to 3. The reality is that that means we're getting 4 to 3 plus 9402, which means we're going to do a base damage of 9825. With sharp, we would do 9882. Why does that mean that a uh, precise is worse, it's always with less damage, excluding the heals. So actually, precise is never going to outweigh sharpened or nern, excluding any time where you are going to be relying on the nern for heals, support stuff, basically using that crit for another use other than base damage. So in that case, the precise is worse for base damage than sharp, now, keep in mind, if you run in the Shadow Mundus, that would be a different story. Because Shadow Mundus is going to increase your base crit by a decent chunk. And at that point, Precise would actually be the better trait for damage. And would increase your healing, unlike Sharp. So anytime the Shadow Mundus is used, Precise is going to be the best trait for PvP. Outside of that, Infused in a low damage build is going to be the best trait. It's basically a summary here. So, in summary, against a... Sorry, if you're running a really low damage build, Infused... Sharp or Nern are all really similar. I personally would go for Infuse because it gives you a bit more burst with that glyph. If you are running a build that's building super high damage, either Nern or Sharp are going to be the best trait. Why is that the case? Because the crit percentage remains the same. Our Precise is doing exactly the same damage as our um, Sharp percentage-wise, and so is still doing less damage. But... Any time where you'd use the Shadow Mundus, Precise would be better. And any time where you're perhaps using the Precise for another use, such as healing, Precise will be better. Finally thing to mention, which is better between Sharp or Nernhoned? Something that came up in my chat here that does actually make a difference. So Sharp and Nernhoned at the moment are near enough identical. It doesn't matter what the target is, the damage difference is minute. To work this out as a percentage for you real quick, just for anyone who's interested, we can do 2985 divided by 2998, answer times 100. In total, of a percentage difference is 0.34%. That is nothing, right? Now, why is Nern sometimes better? Let's take a shield stacked target. So, can you put a shield on and just spam shields for me? Just absolutely spam it, enemy. Harness or something like that. Just mash it. No worries. So, against a shield stacking target, you are unable to increase your crit damage. So, every time he has that up, I will not... Oh, I might want to use a skill that... Every time that shield is up, I am not going to crit, okay? It doesn't matter what I do, I am never going to crit that hit. Any single time where I'm against a shield, I cannot crit. That means that against a shield stacking target, Nernhorn is better. Sharpen is close to the same as Nernhorn in much situations. Precise is better with the Shadow Mundus. And on a low damaging target, I personally would take Infused. Sharp and Nern are going to be close. And precise is going to be worse in less for support. So Precise is only better with the Shadow Mundus. Damage is always going to be better with Sharpen or Nern. And low damage, I would go Infused. So there you go. That's the maths of it all. Um, I'll quickly show you at the end of the video real fast. Just for anyone who's interested, the full monitor, the word document here. Um, 
So there's all of that document for you. That document will have everything that you want in it. If there's anything that interests you in that data, this is obviously the base damages here. Precise is going to be the crit chance, working out the percentage difference between crit chance and the sharp trait. And then obviously you have the base damage increase as such. Uh, that's going to be the amount against no imp and target with the crit chance. And then this is going to be the infused damage because the 160 extra, we did the maths at that at the start, if you're interested in that. And then this is the same. Uh, that's going to be with high damage. We just multiplied everything by three to assume a high damage target. It's going to be the same. So yeah, essentially, I believe that if possible, you want to go with a Nern trait just about over a sharp. But keep in mind that Nern is not going to benefit you in terms of a um, set where you can't get it in. So you can only really get Nern in a crafted set or in a set that is from PvP, for example. So there's a few examples of that. Also, Nern is going to increase your base heals. So Nern is good on that front. Sharp obviously doesn't do that because it's just penetration. So any time where you can get Nern, I think Nern is best. After that, I personally would go for Sharp uh, unless I was going Shadow Mundus. If I was going Shadow Mundus, I'd go Precise. And if I'm not going to run a high damage build, I would go Infuse. So there you go. That's my summary. No promise that the maths is all correct. I believe it is. Um, obviously, I've done it slapdash. I've done it live. Everything is raw data. I hope that's been useful for anyone who cares about the maths of the traits. But your summaries at the end for anyone who didn't really care about the maths and all of that. There you go, guys. There is the maths of all. Traits sorted. Nern is the best, in my opinion. Just, precise, better with the Shadow Mundus. Infuse better low damage. And sharp better if you can't get Nern. There you go. Good. That is the video done. Thank you for the help, mate. Appreciate it. Um, yeah.